Yo, yo. Kicks, what's good, man? Yeah, no. So, where we at? Where we at? Where we at? Right now, we're at Westfields. Where we at? Harrods, Harrods Outlet. Do you even know there's a Harrods Outlet? No. Nah. First time I'm hearing about it. So, we're here in Westfields, Shepherd's Bush. I don't even know. It's there, look. It's there, look. Zero, look. Harrods Outlet. Minus one. Zero. Yeah, Remember boy. Alcohol, yeah, I've got the alcohol, I've got the mask. I'm all good. First guys. On my days, I forgot my mask, you know. Bro, I forgot my mask, man. I forgot the mask, innit? I haven't done an outdoor video in ages. Bro, do you know how I can't do an outdoor video? I can't even talk about this mask, bro. Apparently, you can't wear a mask. You have to wear a mask when you get into a shop now, so. No, no, not yet. Oh, is it not yet? 25th, I think. So, what's the point in having a day on it and not doing it for now? Airport. Yeah, man. Covid port. Right. Off white. Why is DK and Y trying it for? Trying to make it look like off white. It's off white. It's not off white. It's not off white. Oh, it's off white. DK and Y. Because it's a DK and Y. Yeah, look, look. Uh, it's off white. Forty percent off, bro. This is an outlet too. Guys, get your sales down here. Forty percent off. How much is it? Three hundred and sixty pounds from six hundred pounds. Still a bomb. Right. Travel. Yeah. How much? Is that 300? Yeah. If you've got off-white suitcase, you must have something nice in there, innit? Look at these off-white bits. 340 down to 229. What do you think of off-white trainers? What do you think of them? Right, but I just feel like Virgil's right. doing too much. Some guy was some guy was like, oh yeah, I, I can get you V-Jars on wholesale, innit? Like, Is that what he said? Yeah, but I was thinking, he's wearing that even. I feel like... I can't believe these are... Well, I think they're buttons, but... So these are four, 800 down to 449. Sounds like a crazy sell, you know? Online. Is it? Yeah. This is why you need to be on our Facebook, bro. You don't like this, innit? Bro, does that come off or is that part of it? Part of it. That's part of it. I'll take that off. It's weird, innit? Yeah, I'm yeah. feeling these. Oh my day. They look so simple, though, man. They are, they are, but I love that at the back. The Balmain bit? Yeah, I'm liking that. How much are they? 329 mm. from 495. Like, what's his name? That reminds me of um, what's that guy that shoots the bow and arrow? Bow and arrow. Yeah, Cupid. Isn't that the one? With the, <laughs> the trainers, and he's got the. He's a thing, no? He's a, a god, a Greek god, and he's got the trainers with the. Pegasus. Is it? With the. I don't know. Who are you talking about? With the wings on his trainers. What's the price tag on that little spider piece? I'm trying to see. I don't like this piece though. Please. <laughs> Three oh nine. That's not a sell, bro. I picked up from my Teresa, I picked up an off-white hoodie, a lot nicer than this. It was 410, it went down to 187 though. I got the, I got the hoodie. Do you know what? I'm really disappointed in the quality of this. I'm really disappointed. This is the first time I've had to put this in my hand and the print looks cheap. I was gonna pick this up, something like this up, you know, two, nah, 510 to 300. Sure. Do you know what, yeah? The quality compared to um, Off-White and some of the Palm Angel stuff, it's, it's better. Let's don't know about this one. 690 to 340. Jeez. 690 to 340. What's that? That's like, that's over 50% off. It's too expensive. Tom Brown, this guy used to do, you see the Montclair Gamblu collection? This, this is the guy that done the Gam Gamblu collection with Montclair. And that collection doesn't even exist anymore. They, they, they stopped doing it. But this Tom Brown guy is very big in like Japan, China, USA. But in the UK, it's not it's not big like that. I like 1, the material on it. Yeah, material's nice, quality's good. 1,150 to 679. Ooh -wee. You're gonna have to come with a much bigger, <laughs> a much bigger discount if you're gonna get me involved in that, man. Money, I don't know much about money. I'm not, I'm not a fan of this Balmain, you know. That, that's I just think me. Balmain's just come and gone, you know. The whole phase has passed out. And even like quality-wise, it's funny, yeah. But off-white for the sweatshirts is one of the best qualities that I've come across. Off-white, personally, and I think it's better, better quality than this. But it's got a nice zip on it, though. Got a nice zip, Balmain zip. That's a good saving if you got the money for it. Very thin, man. Three fifty to. That to looks like something from Asia. In terms of the quality, hold that, just hold it. Yeah, that's heavy. Bro. Right, that's the that's the type of stuff I like. Nice, thick, heavy, but the design, but design wise, it's a no for me. But I'm just saying, feel how heavy that is. Oh yeah. 
<laughs> that's what I, I like my right. stuff to be because I want quality, bro. Quality mean weight, though. To me, it that's does. Just more material, no? Well, that's that's a good thing then. It's got more material. So. Look, it's doubled up, isn't it? Because if I, if I took you, look. doubled up on the sleeves, though. Ah, look, this out. Come, come this way. Come this way. Nah, I hear you. Look, this feels like this. Feels, I'm not it trying to be funny. Normal. It feels, feels normal. Like feels, yeah, yeah. I was about to say yeah. You don't feel any better. No. Really. It's just the name tag. So I, if I'm gonna spend that money, I want something that's gonna. Uh, okay. There's some quality. Get even the brand name. Like it's just it's disappointing, man. Man, I was gonna buy this top as well. Now that I'm looking at it, I don't really like it. Quality doesn't feel great. Would you, what's your thoughts on these squares? Uh, I don't know. Why? I think that's smart, though. You like that? No, but who's ever done that? No one. Everyone has it on here on the where belt. the yeah. belt covers it. I think that's smart, man. You think so? Yeah. 460 from 269. I think that that's a, they've, they've changed the game a little bit doing that. T-shirt, that print there will crack and it will just look faded after a while. Not that it's a super bad thing, but. Some people like it a little bit worn. Yeah. 185 down to 109. Shorts, yeah? Mm. I'm rating this bit. Those I, I are those John different. Cena just, shorts. Yeah. <laughs> 415 down to 249. <laughs> You don't like all this? No, I don't, I don't, no, I don't, I don't like that either. You don't like the logo? Whoa, mad hard. Yeah. I like that though. Quality. Quality. Yeah, French streetwear. What was the price on it? 450. 450. From 760. <laughs> Bruv, this type of rock tight streetwear is becoming big now, you know. There's a brand called Rude. They're like a rock brand and they're quite expensive. And tons of rappers are starting to wear it. Like a Miri, got this kind of LA rock thing going on. Lots of rappers are starting to wear that. Palm Angels, got this kind of rock, kind of LA thing going on. They're getting mad popular. All this kind of mad, kind of crazy rock stuff. I'm not sure about it though. Man. But <laughs> I don't, so, I don't follow fashion, man. I wear what I like. Do you know what? I did like this. I ain't gonna lie. I know there's a lot going on. Yeah, I did like this. How much is this? 279. Ah, I, spent, I spent so much. It was nice, though. Yeah, it's nice. Where's the mirror? Is there a mirror somewhere? I like it. The material's banging, man. It's Neil Barrett's proper coming in now. But I've got this. This one. It just felt like a little tiny bit too much going on. 279 from 575. That's not that's not too bad. Sale. That's a sale. <laughs> I like stuff like this because it's subtle rain the, jacket. The thing's reflective at the back of it. Yeah, that's I, like, I do like the style. I feel some of the designs are a bit childish sometimes. Yeah, yeah. That's the only thing. If you're, if you're a young buck, then cool. I actually like that. Plain. It feels comfortable as well. It feels comfy, man. I like that. I just don't do too well with um, white. Free my like Kit was saying today, he's got this white top. And look, see, you got a mark on it there. Hey, look. What? <laughs> no, I'm not joking. I bro. know, yeah. I know. It's an oil mark. <laughs> do you know what I mean? No, because earlier when on, yeah. We were having something to eat, he's like, oh, I can't get that because I don't want to get it on my top. And I'm like, I don't want to live that life, innit? Where you, you're wearing something and you can't have your favourite meal because you don't want to get your top dirty. Yeah, so I, I always get my top dirty, so I wouldn't do too well with that. But I like it though. Price on this is 250 I just think those baggy clothing, I think they suit real slim people. You think so? Nah, man, not always. Big people are like athletic, they just look... Yeah, but that's, that's XL, man. You would need a medium. Or a large. It look it, it makes you look fat. Nah, I don't. The way it drops. When you've got all these nah, it's it, material it, it, hanging it's, off. It's you. not it's not baggy where it's kinda like ripples and you know sometimes you get baggy and it kinda does that. And it makes you like you got a tummy when you win. Yeah. Nah. Because I've I picked up one of these tops and it, for me it's baggy but it drops nice. It's not it's not ripples, I don't like that. Now this is this is my time right here, bro. That Bugs Bunny look, innit? Wow. Yeah, man. It looks like you could fit in there twice, bro. Well, it looks like a dressing gown. This is what I mean. Oh, it feels like it feels like a towel. Yeah, toweling material is called. Cool. Yeah, toweling. That's actually the name of the material. Oh, toweling. Wow. Four, two, four, two, five, down to two, four, nine. God, this brand is blown up. Palm oh, Angel. Yeah. It's, when when I first saw this brand in, in um, End, I was in End. If you check the video, like 2019 Christmas, we done a video on this. Some guy was like, yeah, man, Palm Angels is going to be... And I looked at it and I was like, nah, I don't know, bro, but whatever you say. And now, ever, ever since that guy wore it, is it Fredo? Yeah. Ever since he started wearing it. That Boom. This is nice. I like that. 209. That's nice. I'm not too sure about the logo on the black back, but look, feel the quality of the print. Oh, that's thick. This is what, this is what I'm saying. Off-white quality, made in Italy. Wow. Nah, I really like, that's, that's not coming off. That's staying on. That's what I like about it. But not all the pieces are like that. Not all the pieces are like that. Yeah. I like this tag, man. Yeah, it's a nice zip. A little different. 
like, don't thing. get me wrong, yeah, I like some off-white pieces, but stuff like this. Have you seen yeah. the women's stuff? No. Of that, yeah, it's no. cold. Oh, is it? Yeah, they got like the full I've seen Georgia to... Smith wearing it. Is yeah, it? the top and the bottom, the leggings okay. and that, it looks, looks banging good. on the women. I don't know about men though. Oh. I probably like about 20% of their stuff, 10% of their stuff. Yeah. Stuff like this, man. Nah, man. This is overkill, man. This is overkill, man. Plain stuff, more plain. Type of print, big no no man. Still All this. Big up you lots in here. Yeah? So that's what I'm This man. Too much. Too much man. Virgil Abloh doesn't own the um, off white run no more. He owns the rights to the name, but the same people that own off white own Palm Angel and a whole bunch of other brands as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So he don't make clothes for off white no more. I think I think he might do a little bit of design, but he's he's not he's not the full full brand owner anymore. But he's definitely involved in the trainers with the Nike with Nike with Jordan and that. I I don't know how far that goes, but the brand has been sold. So he's not the brand owner, but he still gets royalties or something from the brand. He's worked out some type of deal. He probably done that when he moved over to um, you see, the problem with Ralph is they've um, they license out their name. Other people can make clothes on behalf of Ralph Lauren. So you've got so many different variants of Ralph Lauren. Because when you go to the when you go to Ralph Lauren's store or when you go to the Ralph Lauren website, you find some really nice select pieces of Ralph Lauren. But when you go to like I don't know, like if you pass through TK Maxx or you pass through Bista, you just get like a lower quality of Ralph Lauren, man. So it's a bit disappointing, to be honest. Like this this here, I don't know. It's just not, it's just not exciting, man. Do you know what? No joke. You'll get better deals on our on our website, thehoxandtrend.com. If you check out, there's a site called My Teresa. Yeah. Yeah. We just highlighted a deal, thirty percent off. And then yesterday they announced another thirty percent off sale prices. Bro, there was that off white going for like a hundred. Yeah. I'm jumping on it now. Deals, bro. So what, what was your thoughts on the outlet, bro? It's not alright. Would you come back? Special. I would come back just to see how it develops, man. Yeah, I think it would. I think it and the fact better. that they, they want to know people's what, views what's on stuff. What's going on? So they can I feel like, yeah. yeah. It's a weird time as well at yeah, the moment. Yeah, yeah, do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, for real. I think that would definitely improve. What was your, what was your highlight? Uh, was there anything in there that kind of put your attention? Not really, but I think if you're looking for some designer shoes on a little sale price, I think you could get something decent there. If that footwear department um, gets any better, yeah I, yeah, I think that could be hot. I think that could be or, mad. Or maybe when it first started, they had tons of items and they're all gone. Because even those chain reaction Versace's, like some people will have always wanted yeah, them. No, for real. Even on our Facebook group, people go crazy over those. Yeah, so if people see them, like they're gonna be like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cop that. Yeah, no, for real. True, Not true. for me, but you know, you know how it is with outlets, man. You gotta go, you gotta just fish through the the crap to find something decent. And sometimes it's just the day you go on. If it's not a good exactly. day. Exactly. Yeah. No, fair point. Fair point. Well, you know how outlets are. You gotta go regular, really. Yeah, yeah. So guys, that's it, man. We're out of here. Kicks is gonna be doing a competition. We're gonna sort that competition out soon. How are we gonna do this competition? I don't know. We need to have a chat. But um, I'm looking to. To do maybe one shoe a week for the for the whole of August. All right, cool. Plan. All right, makes sense, makes sense. So guys, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. We've got lots more videos, outdoor videos coming. So make sure you stay tuned for it. I'm out of here. Kicks is out of here. My camera guy's out of here. Peace.